Hello, Dr. Mahesh here. Today I am going to show a case of sequestrated disc helter elpo treated with endoscopic discectomy. This patient presented with left sided sciatica due to sequestrated disc helter elpo with inferior migration. We are seeing the endoscopic pictures now. The cannula is in the center of the disc space. A hook is being used to mobilize the central disc fragment. The central clearance is done using endoscopic disc forceps. We can see the upper end plate of L4 vertebra at 4 o'clock position. Central fragments are clear now. Now we can see the annular tear and epidural bleeding at 12 o'clock position. We can see the rent in the posterior annulus through which the disc fragment had sequestrated. A hook is being used to look for sequestrated disc fragment. The hook is passed in the epidural space between the dura and the vertebral body. In this case, the fragment is sequestrated. There is no connection between the parent disc and the down migrated disc fragment. So it was not possible to locate the fragment through the tear. Now the cannula is withdrawn and again the hook is used to mobilize the disc fragment. As we can see in the MRI, the fragment is closer to the superior pedicle of L4 vertebra. Once we mobilize the fragment, it is grasped with a small grasper and a big fragment has been removed. Now the patient is asked to cough and additional fragments have come out. These fragments are removed with endoscopic disc forceps. Now I am using a 3.5 millimeter straight endoscopic burr to undercut the superior border of L4 pedicle. This is done to locate any residual fragments compressing the L4 nerve root. Burr is an extremely useful instrument in these cases. Undercutting the pedicle and the facet give adequate room for manipulation of the cannula and the scope and look for additional fragments. A grasper is being used to remove the residual disc fragments. A fine grasper is used to remove the last bit of fragment compressing the nerve root. Once all the fragments are removed, free floating dural pulsation is visible.
we can also see the traversing inner root very clearly and there is no compression thank you and i will see you in my next video on endoscopy this case bye